Good morning, Janice. Good morning, Anthony. Today, we're going to answer a question I get more and more frequently with each passing day. <laughs> and the question is, um, can I be your executor in another state, meaning outside of New York? So the answer, short answer is yes, I can and I have served as executor for clients outside of New York, meaning um, someone who's passed away or a trust outside of New York. And you just need to be aware of a few drawbacks. So I've been, um, I've been an executor or trustee in upstate New York, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but if it's a, if it's a long enough drive, it does become a problem as we'll talk yeah. about. Um, I've been in California and as far as the Virgin Islands. So it is definitely possible. Um, and you know, it, as far as I know, <laughs> my clients were happy with all those outcomes, uh, but there are sort of um, pros and cons to it, which we'll talk about. So today we'll discuss uh, a few pros, such as uh, general legal and tax knowledge, independence, general understanding of the process, uh, some cons, uh, no local knowledge, no boots on the ground, uh, more expensive. And in the end, we'll wrap up with, is it worth it? Perfect. So let's just dive right in. We'll start off with the three pros. And these are the pros of asking me to be your executor, even though it wouldn't be in New York, specifically New York City, where, where I'm located. So the first big pro is, regardless of where it's located, if it's in the United States, I will still have that sort of general legal and tax knowledge that just the average layman won't have, right? So for sure, each state or territory or whatever has their own laws, but I would say it's about 80% similar, even state by state. There are definitely nuances and, and twists, but the big things are often very, very similar. And I would probably know that better than your cousin Larry, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then usually the big tax issues or IRS issues, right? Federal level issues. And yes, for sure, there are some state issues that are very specific. For example, Connecticut is like the only state that has a gift tax. And different states have, so a few states have inheritance tax, not just a state tax, blah, 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 without getting into those nitty gritty <laughs> details. Yes, there are state issues, but the big, big whopping uh, problems usually come from the IRS. And that's going to be the same no matter where you live. I mean, uh, no matter where the estate is located, the IRS is, you know, federal. So, and boy, my, do we know how to deal with them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we're used to dealing with them. Let's put it that way. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. So, I, so yes, uh, the big pro is... Uh, Regardless of where, you know, whether it's California or New York, I do have that general knowledge set up. All right. Pro number two is independence. So this does, you know, the choosing me as your independent executor doesn't change if it's in New York or not. And this might be what's most important to you. This might be your primary reason for asking me or somebody like me to be your executor. Um, and here's what I mean by independence. Uh, aside from, well, yeah, here's what I mean by independence. Number one, I have no history with the family. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ask your eldest son to be the, just using an example, to be the executor out of you know your three kids, those three human beings have a lot of history together, a lot of angst, a lot of resentments, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of jealousies, whatever you want. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to, actually, this, this is pretty common. <laughs> it is what it is. It, it is. It, that is the reality of siblings, yes. So when you put one of those three in "quote unquote" power or in a you know in a position of authority or whatever you want to call it, um, you're gonna exasper, exacerbate a lot of those um, a lot of that history, a lot of that uh, buried uh, emotions. <laughs> right. Um, so, so I have no history with, or, or generally very little history with your surviving family. Um, I'm just some dude who's there to do a job and to do it as well as I can. And if everyone hates me, I don't care, which I'm going to get into yeah. next. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't have to worry about Thanksgiving dinners and it being awkward. You're exactly. Not, and that's my no. next point. So <laughs> right. I don't particularly care about uh, – <laughs> I mean, this sounds kind of gruff, but it's kind of – I think it's a pro in this um, scenario. I don't care about my long-term relationships with your three children, right? I mean, I want to have a professional relationship, but – Oh, sure. Absolutely. I don't give a hoot about sideways looks when I'm passing the stuffing <laughs> because they think I, you know, I sold the apartment for, or, you know, I held it too long or whatever, <laughs> whatever problems they might have about the estate. Um, but yes, if it was your uncle or a cousin and these are, these are ongoing relationships they have to maintain, it, it affects decision-making. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yes. Oh yes. And we have seen it. Yeah. So. I don't care. Well, I keep saying that. I want to say it in a nicer way. Um, 
I think we know what you mean. You mean yeah. that in the nicest way possible. You yeah. you do care, but well, you don't. I, I don't have those strings attached. How about that? Right. That right. That's a good one. Yes. <laughs> So then the final, the third and final pro of hiring me to be the executor, even if I'm not, uh, even if it's not a New York situation, is similar to my first pro, I do have a general understanding of the process, which is going to be really, really similar no matter what the state. And what I mean by that is the sort of how and when to pay debts and how to deal with creditors, that's pretty similar across state lines, right? There might be sm- small, you know, creditor debtor law differences state by state, but that's generally similar no matter where you are. Uh, the same is same goes for dealing with ornery heirs, dealing with those heirs who want to know where their inheritance check is right now, or um, who who think everything um, you know all the other siblings are out to get them. Those situations are universal. That doesn't really matter state by state, and um, kind of similar to the independence thing we just talked about. I can deal with that regardless of what state it's in. You know. Yep. And then lastly, uh, we just know how to track everything and just keep organized for a clean exit, which is what you want an executor to have. You want this thing to close and have some finality. A lot of family member, a lot of uh, non-professional executors don't really know how to do that. <clears throat> Things tend to linger and drag out, but um, we do put a kind of a, a bow on top at the end and really yeah. kind of wrap things up. <laughs> so the, 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 those are the pros of working with me as professional executor or trustee, even if it's not for New York. Now let's get to the cons because there are definitely some drawbacks and I want you to be aware um, you know, if, if you're thinking about hiring somebody like me. So I don't have any local knowledge of places outside of Manhattan. I'm, I'm, I was born, I was essentially born and raised in Manhattan. Uh, I was actually born in Ohio, but um, I'm very familiar with, with most things New York City. But if you were talking about, let's say, um, Janice, where are you? you're from Florida, right? <laughs> yeah, from Florida, yes, in Pennsylvania now. Yeah. Okay, so let's say let's say it's, it's in a state in Florida. You know, there's things I'm just not going to know as well as somebody who's local. You know, I don't know the the local nuance of how they do real estate closings or, you know, lo- how local branch branch branches do things or their their policies. I'm just not going to know. That's bottom line. So it's going to cause a little bit. It's not. You're not going to get quite the level of of um of experience as I if, as you would if I was if it was a, if it was a Manhattan estate. Uh, con number two. You know, I won't have boots on the ground. And what I mean by that is for an estate here in Manhattan, um, if I'm helping a family member out over in France or whatever, it's really great for them to have me be able to just walk into a bank or walk into a brokerage account or walk into the courthouse and deal with things very quickly one on one. You know, we obviously don't have that option if I'm serving an estate far away. <laughs> I mean, if it's Jersey or Connecticut, fine, that's not a big deal. But um, uh, for anyone who's not on, that's, you know, very drivable, very, very close. Um, but uh, yeah, if it's something where I have to organize and take a trip to California or Chicago, um, then we just have to be a little bit more organized and coordinate getting all those things done on my, on my sort of periodic trips to the estate uh, location. And that ties into the third and final con, it's more expensive, right? There are a lot of things and I, you know, I mentioned this in, in my book, How to Hire an Executor, that the executor must do physically in person. I know it's ridiculous in this day and age. And actually, that might change with uh, all this COVID stuff. But as of now, uh, executors cannot delegate. And there's very few things that can be done by video. Although, again, COVID is changing that. But um, that will cause either travel expenses or I, I would have to hire local counsel or local, I don't know, assistance uh, to deal with some of those things. And that can add to the cost overall. All right. So that's the final con. So is it worth it? Bottom line is it's up to you. For some people, you know, get to know me through this podcast or my books and they just, you know, they just have to work with me. You know, <laughs> these are their words, not mine. <laughs> so fine. Yeah, I'm happy to. I'm honored that you've you've chosen and you've you know, you, you want me to 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 serve your family. Uh, but just be aware that if it's outside of New York, these are the pros and cons. And it's really up to you to decide how important it is to you to work with me. Uh, and if it's worth these costs, but if if, that, if that's your decision, I would be honored. And to follow up with that, with is it worth it? I mean, your experience alone, too. Like you said, even though there are some cons, the pros seem to outweigh the cons when it comes to the experience. I mean, how many have you done? I know not one or two. I always joke, but uh, – yeah, hun- hundreds yeah. at this point. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. So it's not your first rodeo. You definitely have some experience to back it up. I mean, we have that St. Thomas case where, you know, I, 
we have local counsel, but still the clients prefer speaking with me right. and asking me, you know, what, what, what's going on just because that's the comfort level. I mean, pat, break, breaking my arm, patting myself on the back. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, we've, we've gotten this far and that's people just, they, they enjoy working with you and yeah. that's a great thing. So you had mentioned before about how to hire an executor. Uh, your book, it's available on Amazon. Definitely check it out because it gives a lot more information about well, professional executorship um, and digs into this a little bit further. Very good. So for next time we, we get this question, I'll be happy to send a link to this chat. Hopefully it'll explain the pros and cons. And uh, thank you, Janice. Thanks for listening and we'll talk next time. Bye. We'll chat soon.